Looking for the best soldering iron without getting burned by poor choices? Stick around, we've tested the top model so you don't have to. Let's kick things off with the Placebo Kit 7, ranked at the bottom of our list. This one's definitely targeted toward beginners, hobbyists, or anyone dipping their toes into soldering for the first time. It's inexpensive and simple, and it comes with a few nice extras like a soldering guide, ebook, and some starter accessories. But let's be honest, when compared to the other irons in this lineup, Placebo just doesn't have the firepower or features to compete. You're looking at 60 watts of power with no digital temperature readout and no sleep function. It works, sure, but you're not getting the precision or control you'd want for more detailed projects. It's also missing some quality of life features like auto shutoff or memory settings. The accessory quality is okay, but not great. The stand is basic, the solder's thin, and the included flux isn't anything to write home about. If you're new to soldering and just want something affordable to practice with, the placebo could be your starting point. But if you're planning to use your soldering iron regularly or on more delicate electronics, keep watching. There are much better options ahead. Links to all the products featured in this video, at the best prices, are right below in the description. Next up we've got the LDK Soldering Iron Kit, a small step up from the Placebo, but still sitting in the lower end of our ranking. Like the Placebo, it delivers 60 watts of power and includes some handy accessories, all in a compact, lightweight design that's easy to handle. What sets it apart slightly is the more ergonomic, pen-style build and how lightweight it feels in the hand. It warms up reasonably fast and offers adjustable temperature control, though again, you're dialing it in by feel since there's no digital display. The downside? You're still dealing with no sleep function, no memory settings, and a very basic analog experience. Plus, the accessory quality still feels bargain bin. It's fine for quick fixes, but not ideal for serious work. If you want a low-cost backup iron or something ultra-portable for on-the-go use, this could work for you. But if you're enjoying this so far, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. We've got much better soldering kits coming next. In third place, we've got the Anbi Soldering Iron Kit. Now we're entering more capable territory. This one bumps things up with a powerful 90 watt heating core, faster heat up, and even an auto sleep mode that protects the tip when idle. That's a big step forward from the last two. Even though it doesn't feature a digital display, you can really feel the difference that extra power makes. It heats up quickly, handles thicker wires better, and offers solid performance for general electronics work. Plus, the 10-in-1 kit is packed with useful accessories, from solder wire to extra tips and a stand. On the flip side, you're still adjusting temperature the old school way with a knob, and there's no display to tell you exactly where you are. That can lead to some guesswork if you're working on more delicate components. But overall, this is where soldering kits start to feel serious. If you're not quite ready to invest in a pro-level station, but you want a kit that holds up to regular use, this one definitely deserves a spot on your shortlist. Now we're getting into the heavy hitters. Fourth on our list, but getting very close to the top, is the Leo Hum Kit. It offers a great balance between performance, safety, and ease of use, especially for intermediate users. You get a clear digital display, a solid 80 watts of power, and one of the fastest heat-up timers of any kit here, just around 10 seconds. What's more, it remembers your last temperature setting and even powers down automatically after a few minutes of inactivity. Those are features usually reserved for much pricier setups. The only real drawback, the accessory quality is still pretty average, and it doesn't have advanced safety features like static protection or grounded design. But in terms of user-friendly controls and reliable heating, it really punches above its price. If you want a dependable digital iron that doesn't cost a fortune but feels like a pro tool, this is a great choice. And finally, taking the number one spot in today's ranking is the Qming Soldering Iron. This one checks all the right boxes and then some. With a beefy 100 watts of power and a temp range that reaches up to 932 degrees Fahrenheit, this kit handles everything from fine electronics to heavier duty soldering tasks. It's also got a super intuitive digital LED display, temperature locking, and even a child safe password feature, which is something you rarely see at this price point. The steel tube design keeps the handle cool, and the accessory kit includes everything from solder wire and wick braid to a full set of tips. Downsides? Not many though it still lacks premium level calibration and ESD safe protection you'd find on professional soldering stations. But for the price, you won't find anything better with this much power, precision, and safety built in. If you want the best bang for your buck soldering iron for real projects, this is the one to beat. Alright, that wraps it up. All the top soldering irons from budget to best. And if one of these caught your eye, don't forget to check out the links in the description for the best deals. Hit that like button if you found this helpful, and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next review.